So, just another quick video about a funny little extension that's been added recently called Open Page. So, and what that does. So, you of course get it like you always get extensions, an extension, and in this case, effects, audio effects, and you open Open Page here. And you install it here, which I have already done. And another first thing you notice is that it's it's actually not on the effect list here. So why is that? Well, it's in others. So here it is. You can select it. And the uh, next thing you notice is it doesn't do anything. Um, but you can look into its other settings and maybe load a track. And it still doesn't do anything. Well, that's because it's a weird little thing. And you probably don't want to actually work with it from the, uh, from the effects. Uh, pain here. You might not even want to work with it in this little pop-up. You might actually want to program it. So that's what I've done. So uh, what it's meant to do is it's meant to do a look at either what the track you've been uh, you've been loaded here or whatever is selected in the browser section. And then it's it'll do searches based on whatever you enable. So in this case artist and title and it'll go to the web page that you choose here. So I've put that uh, onto uh, to, to user buttons here because I think that's how uh, most people will use it. Probably not only user buttons, but probably on keyboard key shortcuts because that's even faster. So it's it's to look up information, um, find or find uh, other information or stuff like that. So I've done the four mappings. So this one says uh, well you should set the, the slider uh, to zero percent and see uh, that's genius.com and then you should uh, click the first button with the stack which means it'll look for whatever i've loaded here so if i click that button it opens up my default browser and you can see that i now have the lyrics for the track that I just loaded on my deck and if I click uh, this, uh, the second slider, or the second button, you can see that it mouse moves to 30%. That's YouTube, I can tell you that already. So if I click the second one here, it opens up my browser again, and it loads YouTube, uh, and does the search. So I now have uh, my Sharon song right here. <clears throat> and the two next ones are the similar ones, they just, uh, trigger the second button instead so instead of looking up here at whatever I've loaded it looks at whatever I've uh, selected down here so let's select something else like like Ariana Grande here and then do this one see if it can look up the lyrics for that and it could so now we have the, the lyrics for Dangerous Woman and finally, the same thing with the selected one, Dangerous Woman, and YouTube. So now I get the Dangerous Woman YouTube video. So as you can see, that's a funny little thing. It can open uh, different uh, web searches based on the track you have selected uh, and loaded, or based on the the currently highlighted track in your browser list. And like I said, it has different places it can go. You can do a simple Google search. You can go to SoundCloud. You can do all sorts of good stuff. So it's loaded, uh, it's installed and loaded as uh, an audio effect here, but it's probably not, not run as an audio effect. That'll probably usably keyboard keys uh, to do some quick internet searching based on the track you're currently working with.